Good morning, Jeff. Welcome to this edition of The Loop, made just for you, on Sunday, 22nd October 2023. Today, we have 10 great stories covering major players like Apple, OpenAI, Hugging Face and more, touching on hot topics from upcoming product launches, AI advancements to market shakeups, and international tech accessibility. Now diving right in, Apple, a giant making waves in the AI space. The company, in a bid to catch up with the rapid adoption of AI technologies, is mobilising its resources. They're integrating AI more deeply across products, Though this comes with its challenges, particularly balancing on-device processing with cloud-based capabilities. Amidst this, Apple plans a Mac-centric product launch and introduces an affordable Apple Pencil, while also preparing for its crucial Q4 earnings report. Shifting gears to Hugging Face, a rising star in the AI community, confronts challenges overseas. The company's platform, a hub for open-source AI models, faces accessibility issues in China. The blockage aligns with China's history of stringent internet regulations, sparking online debate among netizens concerned about the potential self-imposed isolation's impact on China's competitive standing in global AI. Now to a potential upcoming Apple event. In the recent Power On newsletter, Tech analyst Mark Gurman anticipates a Mac-focused Apple event toward the end of the month, potentially featuring an updated 24-inch iMac. While the current model, introduced in April 2021, still houses the M1 chip, it's speculated that the forthcoming iMac may bypass the M2 for the M3 chip, although this wasn't explicitly confirmed in the newsletter. Observations of dwindling supplies of various Mac models, including the iMac and 13-inch, 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pros in Apple stores, with delayed delivery times stretching into mid-November, fortify German's prediction of imminent updates, possibly involving these devices. German foresees the Mac reveal happening around October 30th or 31, preceding Apple's earnings call on November 2nd. The new iterations are not expected to undergo substantial transformations, focusing primarily on processor upgrades with the possibility of minor display enhancements. He also reiterates that new MacBook Air models equipped with M3 chips are projected for early 2024, while a larger, more professional iMac variant may debut much later, around 2024 or 2025. Significant redesigns, potentially including the integration of touchscreens, seem slated for the more distant future within the Mac lineup. Back to AI. After OpenAI integrated its DAL-E, 3AI image generator with ChatGPT, users noticed an amusing bug revealing internal prompts shared between the systems, including all-caps instructions, highlighting a future where human-like communication may dominate computer interaction. These prompts, intended to guide the AI's behaviour during high server demand, inadvertently provided insight into the natural language interface between DAL-E and ChatGPT, a departure from traditional program-to-program communication through APs. This evolution reflects the increasing humanisation of AI interactions, as observed by AI writer and researcher Simon Willison. OpenAI's training of GPT-4 on polite human communications might explain why the model responds effectively to cues like please, thank you, or even emphasis through capitalisation. The discovery sparks a conversation about the future of human-AI interaction. While it might seem humorous or unnecessary to use polite or emphatic language with AI, These communication forms could be constructive, drawing from the model's training on vast amounts of human dialogue. The use of all caps for emphasis, interpreted as shouting in human communication, may also enhance the AI's response due to its training on similar textual examples. 
These nuances in AI communication extend beyond text, influencing voice interactions with AI systems, making them increasingly resemble conversations with a human, indicating a future where our interactions with AI might be indistinguishable from those with humans.